Hey there folks, I got a new knife for you. Uh, actually, this knife I got just bef uh, a day before uh, East Coast Custom Knife Show. But, uh, you know, because I've been uploading those videos um, and other new acquisitions, I kind of like uh, fell behind in making this vid. Uh, this is a Necker from uh, Jeff Isgro. Let me show you his uh, logo. He's a um, part-time knife maker in Friendsville, Tennessee. Um, he's, uh, he's been doing it for quite some time now, but he works full time, so he only does it part time. So his turnaround is, uh, is a little bit uh, longer than you guys are probably accustomed to. Uh, pretty much his, uh, his, uh, business is through word of mouth. Um, uh, but uh, he does amazing work. So here's the long overdue video on it. So, uh. I got into fixed blades mostly because of when I met Ramon Chavez in Blade 2013 and then of course uh, J.R. Hutchinson from Knife Thursday and Chris Weinstein you know and of course the bandit turned me on to fixed blades so where I live I don't really have a need for super humongous uh, fixed blades like the tag one that we ended up raffling so I thought a nice necker would be a good fit. This is comfortable enough that it will fit nicely in my pocket. So let's just do some macros on it. So the wood, the wood scales, I don't have anything with wood scales so I figured I'll try it. This is desert ironwood scales. You see the beautiful contouring job that Jeff did on it. In the wood he also stuck these uh, mosaic pins. I was actually watching a vid on how they make these uh, mosaic pens. It's not as easy as it looks. I mean, to get them perfectly in the middle or, you know, position where exactly you want them, that's not so easy. So, yeah, uh, he, he'll, um, Jeff can make it with any, he'll work with any material. So, uh, he could have made this with carbon fiber or um, G10 or anything you guys basically want. Um, I wanted to try something unique that I've never had before, so I went with the Desert Ironwood Scales. And uh, you can see there's minor imperfections in the wood, which gives it character, I think. It looks, it's not so, it's, it, it looks natural. That's what I like about it. So it looks awesome. I mean, look how flawless the work is where the mosaic pins are uh, placed into the wood. Just really well done. Nice little lanyard hole. And it's a uh, CPM 154 CM steel. It's a chisel grind with kind of like um, a compound grind on this side. And again, it's just uh, flat on this side. I asked him to do satin, a satin blade, because you guys know I'm got this satin kick. You guys got to look at this satin. Just amazing work by Jeff. That is not an easy thing to do. I've checked out a few satin blades. And I know it's very difficult. And people, some knife makers, even uh, don't even want to do it because you know it, it basically highlights any imperfections on the blade. So I can understand why some knife makers uh, stay away from it. But Jeff actually embraced it. Jeff actually loves doing the satin grind. Uh, he also works with uh, Damascus steel. Lately, he's been using some Damascus steel. Maybe that'll be my next project. A nice swedge up here. Jeff put it is sharp too, super sharp. Look how thick that stock is. Uh, and of course, the piece de resistance is this Mokum or Mokume gain that he uh, got from Mike Sakmar. Just beautiful. Mike Sakmar Mokume has like uh, brass copper and nickel silver in it and you can see the different colors hopefully I can hold this steady enough for you guys you can see the different colors in there and how Jeff placed it in there is not by screws but he put pins in there which he uh, flattened um, and that's what holds the mokume the mokum in there you can see it goes all the way through look how he positioned it perfect to go right in the middle of that swirl there you know, as best as he could, wherever he could put it. 
but I thought that was pretty. There, it stands out more. But again, you won't really see this with your naked eye. This is up close on this macro. Uh, and in time, this Mokum will patina and have its own character. I think it looks pretty obvious. Look at the red. You can see the red. And you see those colors? That's just gorgeous. Just beautiful. I mean, it just accentuates the, the blade handle perfect. Just, just beautiful work. But the work is flawless. I mean, the steel and the wood and the mokum, especially right here, is like seamless. Seamless. And you can see how it's... Look how exact it is. The handle meets the mokum. I mean, that is precise work. I can't believe he's just part-time. Just amazing work, Jeff. Amazing. Phenomenal. I gotta get another one. I gotta get another one because he likes working with... Um, Damascus. I gotta get something. He also does like big knives, so, uh, you know. But just awesome, awesome work. Fits the hand good. See, it's a nice small size. I got medium sized hands, like you guys know. And a little thumb ramp over here. Just perfect. Good size. Look at that. Look at that satin. What? That is amazing. Comes with a Kydex sheath. Perfect, perfect. He can also do a leather sheath if you want. But, uh, you know, he made it for me with this, with uh, like a necker to carry a necker type. I could also strap it onto my belt and stick it in the pocket. I added this Pete Gray uh, bead in it just to give it a little pizzazz. But pretty fucking awesome work. Did I just curse? I'm sorry, guys. Amazing work. Amazing. Uh, I'll put Jeff's information below. He does have a YouTube account. That's probably the best way to contact him. So if you guys uh, have any interest. This is the knife. If you guys watch the uh, X video where I showed this to... Um, oh my god. To uh, Lambert. Kirby Lambert. Kirby Lambert was pretty impressed with the grinds on it, so I showed it to him. Kirby was saying that he also works. He used to work a lot with Moku, man. Uh, he has in a while. So if you haven't seen that, check it out on the video. So it was pretty neat. Just nice work. So Jeff Isgrove from Friendsville, Tennessee. Why are all the knife makers in Tennessee? They seem to all be in Tennessee and Texas. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Look at that chisel grind. All right, guys. Peace.